मिलेगा हाई गाइज हाउ यू गाइज डूंग टूडे आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वंडरफुल ना इन टूडे वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी क्रिएटिंग दिस लुक राइट योर इट इज नवरात्रि सो आई नो वी आर नॉट सेलिब्रेटिंग नवरात्रि दिस योर बट आई थॉट लेट्स कीप द नवरात्रि स्पिरिट गोइंग स्पेशली आफ्टर आई वॉच कॉशोज वीडियो तो आई थॉट वाई नॉट जस्ट डू इट नवरात्रि इज योर वी आर ऑल सेलिब्रेटिंग इट इन सम वे ऑफ दर आई डेफिनेटली मिस नवरात्रि विद ऑल माई हार्ट एंड सोल लाइक But if you still want to watch how I created this fabulous makeup look right here, please keep on watching. So to start off with this look, I am going to prime my face first using my Elf Hydrating Face Primer. This bad boy is really, really good. I really, really like this primer. Keeps all my makeup intact, hydrates my face. So I let the primer sit on my skin for a couple of minutes for it to like kind of blend in with my skin. I am going to go ahead and use my absolute favorite. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I am in the shade Natural Beige. I am actually going to use this stippling brush today. This is from RC Cosmetics again. I bought it from Amazon. I've been really enjoying using stippling. brushes these days so i'm just going to stipple this into my face also i'm not wearing any jewelry right now because we all know how heavy noratri jewelry gets sometimes i love how this foundation kind of leaves that dewy finish on my skin Now it's time to conceal. For concealing today, I'm again going into my NYX Professional Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer in Natural. This has been my go-to concealer ever since I got it. I'm just gonna apply some on the inner corner of my eye and on the end with my damp beauty blender and just blending that in. What are you guys doing to celebrate Navratri this year? I know it's kind of like a bummer. set my concealer i am going in with my air sponge translucent extra coverage loose powder my favorite i'm just going to take my damp beauty blender press it down on the under eye this powder literally gets everywhere when you're applying it Okay. So for the eyes, I am going in with my Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I am going to dig into the burnt orange, my favorite transition shade. I'm going in with my Sephora 205 brush, and I'm just gonna apply the burnt orange on the green. I really want to go with something really vibrant, so let's see where that idea takes us. I'm going with the usual virtual wipe motions to blend it out really nicely. Now that that's nice and blended, I am going in with my NYX Ultimate Palette in Brights and I'm using this blue right here. Such a nice sky blue color right here. I'm just gonna blend that where we blended burnt orange as well. I went in with the wrong shade. That's why I'm thinking, why does it shimmer so much? I wanted to do the sky blue, and I went in with the shimmery teal color, which is completely not something I was going for. Doesn't look bad. Now I'm going in with the sky blue color that we initially aimed for. Also, guys, don't mind my background. Now I'm going to take my Morphe X Dream Shells palette, which is kind of really dirty from outside. I am going to pick out the color Brother, and I'm just going to blend that in under the blue shade that we blended right now. I want it to be like a really nice transition. I really like this brush, and it comes to like um, blending all my shadows. It blends out really, really nicely. Now I am going in with Acapella. I'm just going to pick up the shade on my finger and pack that in the center of my eye to give me that spotlight effect. Just have a little bit of fallout here. I'm just going to clean my fallout with my fluffy powder brush. I'm just going to take my same blending brush, dip it in powder, and just run that over the waterline now. Sun is about to come on my face, literally. That looks so cute. I love it. I am actually going in with this teal shimmer right here. It's called Hello. Just going to take a little bit of that. Just gonna apply that in the center of my eye. Definitely, it was 
much needed. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner and just gonna make a really nice wing to bring this whole look together. I'm usually never worried about like matching this eyeliner with this eyeliner because by God's grace my eyeliners always match. Like I've never had that issue. A few moments later. Are you meeting a little bit? Oh my Lord Jesus Christ, what have I done? Cool. Now I'm gonna go in with my Nykaa Rockerline Kajal and just going to fill in my waterline. Okay, I'm gonna take my lash curler and just curl my eyelashes real quick. Now that we're done with the eyes completely, let's move on to actually giving our face some structure. With my pack 305, I'm going to take my sugar bronzer in Woody Wonder, my favorite. And now I am going in with my pack 302 and just blending that in. Now I am going in with old James. This really nice orange, like my favorite color from blush. <gasps> Now my favorite part coming to highlight, I am going to use my sugar mini highlighter in gold glory. I'm using my Nykaa fan brush. See how much I love this product. It's almost gone and I'm just gonna highlight on the high points of my face. Ooh la la! So apply that on my nose to make it all look all cute. On the cupid's bow. I need to do my eyebrows which I really conveniently again forgot. Now I'm just gonna take my highlighter again on my pack 3131. I'm also going to apply that on the inner corner of my eye. Now we're almost done with the makeup. I am going in with my lipstick. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite ride or die lipstick. This is Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in Amazonia. Like I have that. I always like to outline my lips before I fill them in. Okay, so now let's add some good juke touches to the look. Firstly, beginning with the bindi. I like wearing my bindi a little higher up. Cat on the eyeliner again. I'm just gonna dot this. I'm just gonna bring like a line. And just gonna dot here. It's a proper Gucci Navratri look. And I'm gonna do one on the chin as well. Now let me just put on my jewelry. For my jewelry, I'm gonna use this really nice, like a point necklace type of situation. I think I got this from Hill Road or Linking Road or something. I'm gonna wear these really nice chunkar. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really extremely sorry for the change in lighting throughout the video. I'm sure it was as disturbing for you as it was for me. And I will try my best to get better at my whole setup next time. But I deeply, deeply apologize. But if you still enjoyed my video regardless, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what do you miss about Navratri the most. Is it the dressing up? Is it playing Navratri with your friends? Is it the garba itself what do you miss about it the most i definitely miss playing the garba itself i it's one of the best times of the year for me and i am very very sad that i didn't get to enjoy it this year share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel if you're new don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified every single time i post a new video follow me on all my social media the handles will be down in the description box and on the screen and i will see you guys next time bye spread love Stay home, stay safe.
Baby 